Radical plan has been set out to create a Glasgow-wide metro system and to join the city's two main train stations. The Glasgow Connectivity Commission says the measures would bring a multi-billion pound boost to the Scottish economy. Here's our transport correspondent, David Henderson. Waiting for the bus in Castle Milk at the start of the working day. It's just six miles from the centre of Glasgow, but transport options are limited and the nearest train station's too far away to make commuting easy. What's your total journey time then? Probably roughly nearly an hour to get to work. An hour to get uh, to work? Roughly about an hour. In the gorbals? Aye, uh, but the time, time you get there takes easy, especially <coughs> stop my release every two minutes. There's nothing, the only train connection, the nearest one is down at Crawfoot or Kings Park, but obviously you need to walk or get a bus. If a job that I was wanting to go for desperately and it was far away, I'd be put off if I couldn't get there in a certain length of time. Today, an expert report warns that people in places like Castle Milk struggle with poor transport and a lack of train stations cuts them off and holds back Scotland's economy. How can we make Glasgow much more productive than it is now? How can we bridge the productivity gap between Glasgow and the rest of the UK because we've got 14% less productivity? And if we bridge that gap, it's worth some £5 billion pounds extra to the Scottish economy. So their plan is for a new metro system to crisscross Glasgow, connecting Paisley and the airport to the city centre and the suburbs. All this would run on the existing network of old rail and tram lines, closed over 50 years ago. But pressing them back into service would take some work. This one, for example, has a block of flats built on it. So there would have to be some compulsory purchase and demolitions to get these old lines open again. As part of this multi-billion pound plan, the Commission's calling for a tunnel like this one in the Swedish capital Stockholm to connect Glasgow's two main stations and speed up journey times. It's for politicians to decide on whether it should go ahead. David Henderson, Reporting Scotland, Glasgow.